Hey guys, so today I am back with a new video. So this time is the Tata Safari. So Tata Safari is a seven-seater crossover SUV that is launched in 2021, just a few months ago. It's based upon the Tata Harrier compact SUV, the same platform which is co-developed with Land Rover. So the Tata Safari was actually launched back in 1998 when it was a ladder frame chassis used. 4x4 luxury SUV. The first generation was continued up to 2014 when and then in 2014 the second generation came along and the second generation was discontinued in 2019 due to poor sales of the car. But the design was pretty iconic and Tata Safari nameplate was very famous in India. But then after this discontinuation Tata realized that the Safari nameplate was a pretty iconic nameplate and in 2021, they revamped the new nameplate as the Tata Safari, a completely new vehicle. So, under the bonnet is a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder cryotech diesel turbocharged engine producing 170 PS power and 350 Nm of torque. Power is channeled to the front wheels via a 6 speed manual or a 6 speed automatic. The dimensions of this car will be put on the screen as you can see. The feature list is pretty long. It has tilt and telescopic steering wheel, power steering, power windows, second and third row charging ports, boss mode, third row AC vent with controls, central locking, multiple drive modes that is Eco City and Sport, steering mounted controls, Xenon HID projector headlamps with follow me home function, fog lamps with cornering function, rear parking sensors with camera, rear wiper wa and washer, electric ORVMs, Fully automatic temperature control with HVAC, LED DRLs with turn indicators, rain sensing wipers, auto headlamps, front and rear armrest with cup holders, push button start, mood lighting, tire pressure monitoring system, IRA connected car technology which provides your daily service or you can say your timely service as well as other vehicle informations. You have cruise control, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, air purifier, panoramic sunroof on the top two models as well as you have premium white leather upholstery inside with leather wrapped steering wheel and gear knob. There are three terrain response modes that is normal, wet and rough. It has got an 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen infotainment system with four speaker, four Twitter and one subwoofer JBL sound system. It has got shark fin antenna. 7 color 7 inch instrument cluster for the driver a 6 way power driver seat auto IRVM wireless charger second row bench or captain's chair option as well as you have ventilated front and second row seats and diamond quilted leather seats in the gold special edition model there are total 5 color options and there are two special edition models that is the adventure persona and the gold edition those two are newly launched versions, those are special edition models whereas the standard car comes in total 5 colors. You can see the color list very soon. On the safety front, you have ESP, held hold control, traction control, rollover mitigation, cornering stability control, brake disc wiping, ABS, EBD, perimetric alarm, central locking as I said, 6 airbags, hill descent control. Isofix mounts, electric parking brake with auto hold. The price of this car is around 14.99 lakhs to 23.17 lakhs that is around $20,161 to $31,163. The colors of this car are as follows, tropical mist which is a light bluish color. The This is on the standard version of the car. After that you have the Tropical Mist Adventure which is for the Adventure Persona variant. This color is only available for the Adventure Persona variant. Then there is the Royal Blue which is the base color or you can say this is the main color for which you can see in all the advertisements and all the pictures. This is the main color. Black Gold this is for the Gold Edition model. This is the Special Edition model. This has got ventilated front and second row seats that is the captain chairs and it has got diamond quilted seats also. This is the orcus white color you are looking at. And except this you have the Daytona gray color which is the normal dark gray finish color. And the wheels of this car are only available in white and chrome colors. 
the and this is the white gold model color that is for the gold edition model the gold edition has two colors black and white whereas the other colors are called the standard version so this car has only two wheel color options that is one for that is the chrome and the adventure persona has the black wheel color so what do you think of this car please note it down in the comments and if you like this video then like it share this video post your comments and subscribe to my channel by clicking the bell icon and by turning the notifications on thank you jai hind